Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Oh. Hey, Hills Wanderer. You got me in the middle of eating, and apparently things I hold don't come with me when you blow the whistle. All right, that's something new. All right. Well, I'm here. What do you what do you need from me? Mhm. Mm yeah, what about the apples? All right, so you're curious about them? Um, uh, well, ask me anything. I'm the one that made them anyway. Well, yeah, I did make these apples myself, and I did make them with a little bit of magic. That's why you can properly, like, you know, teleport and stuff. You have a little bit of my power inside of you. Yeah, it's nothing special, though. You don't have all of my power, just a little bit of it. Not even, like, a whole lot of my magic. Just, like I said, a really tiny, itty-bitty, smidgy bit of my magic. Eat multiple apples? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Hell's Wonder, <laughs> no. You see, my apples were made for the uh, first humans, and, um, well, most of the angels. You see, when a food becomes an angelic food, it becomes rare. And by rare, I mean only the people who are worthy of eating it are only allowed to eat it. As in angels and whatnot. They're the only people that can eat holy fruits. And if a human were to eat it, well, I mean, you've already ate one. It doesn't really have much side effects, but they will gain angelic power, like you have. But, like I said, it was made by me, so some side effects could be different, some powers could be different, but nonetheless, still, you have angelic powers. And no, I'm not going to... No, 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 okay, Hell's Wanderer... I just want to get this through first, all right? You, as a human, cannot... They're, you're not able to... Uh, hmm. Uh, how can I say this without being offensive? Um... If you eat more than one apple then your whole body or your whole person in itself would change. What I mean by that is, um, you see, last time a human ate an apple or more than just one of them, my apples specifically, they kind of uh, ceased to exist. To put into more simpler terms. Well, yeah, I mean, my ex-wife Lilith, I mean, she did eat one of the apples, but she only ate one of them. If she would have ate multiple fruits that I've made, 
She wouldn't exist now. Why are you asking me this anyway? You're just curious? Okay. I mean, if as long as you didn't eat a second apple without me knowing, then I think everything should be fine. And plus, I don't think you want to go against my back, right? You don't, we, we want to go against Lucifer, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, um, is there anything else you needed from me, or can I can I go back home to finish my meal? Because you did call me without, again, calling me first. Mm-hmm. And what about it? Oh, really? Huh. Well, I didn't know that. Well, um, I hope that meeting goes well for you. And if they seem a little agitated is the word I'm looking for. Take that with a grain of salt, because he is one of the more not-so-nice sins that there are down in here in hell. And I, I know you haven't met all of the sins yet. I know that for a fact. Because I, I think you still need to talk to... Oh, what's her name? Beelzebub? I think, yeah, Beelzebub. You need to talk to Beelzebub. Mm hmm. But you should probably talk to Beelzebub first because, well, she's more approachable and she likes to throw parties all the time. So if you uh, go down to her ring and you go to her, I think she has a mansion, I'm not too sure. But yeah, if you go to her house, she's most likely throwing a party. She's always throwing parties. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, if you want to talk to the other sins, you probably want to start with Beelzebub, and then go down to Leviathan and Satan, and I, th I think that's the all of the sins that you're missing, right? Oh, uh, yeah, because uh, you talk to everyone else. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so you only need to talk to three other ones. And we can finally get this whole mystery down on who opened the portal that made you fall down here. No, I, I understand that you still want to stay down here, but we still want to know how you got down here. So I think it'd be the more safer option to, you know, talk to the other sins and see if they opened any portals recently or use any of their magic to do something to accidentally open a portal somewhere that they didn't mean to. Yeah, I think that seems like a fair idea. Hmm? Lilith? Oh, well... I'm... I'm not too sure where she is. She's been... She's been gone for quite a while. And I haven't... I haven't been able to contact her. I, I'm still wondering where she is, honestly. But... That's besides that. Are you sure you're... Alright, you've been... Acting strange this whole time I've gotten here. Okay, if you say so. Uh, how's Charlie and them? How is how is everybody over here? I haven't been here in a few months, or maybe a month. So I just want to check up on my daughter and her girlfriend and everyone else here. Oh, good, good. Business is booming. I love to hear that. I probably have to... I'll probably call Charlie soon here. After I'm, you know, done eating and whatnot. <laughs> and when I am done eating, I'm going to call her and 
See what's up with her, you know? As a, as a good father should. Yeah, of course, of course. But, um, yeah, I, I would like to go back to my food now, Hell's Wanderer, if, if you don't mind. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll get out of your hair. You take now, Hell's Wanderer. Tell Charlie I said hi!